Hello everyone, my name's Libby and I'm going to show you a few simple tips to create your own comic strip. Comics are a wonderful way to tell a story visually. If you want to look at some comics, you can find them online or in newspapers or in comic books. For this craft, you will need pencil, black pen, plain paper, a ruler and a rubber. I'm keeping my comic strip black and white for this activity but you might want to colour your comic in with some felt tip pens as well. So, let's get making! Before you start drawing your comic, you need to come up with your own characters and a story. You can follow my character comic tips today to help you get started. I'm going to create a comic character based on Arani from Artburst Story, Awesome Arani. To start drawing our comic character, I'm going to look at some previous sketches of Arani. I have to look for certain features that I can adapt to make her look more like a comic character so everyone can recognise that character. Look at Arani. Her hair stands out as a good feature to focus on. I wanted Arani's hair to look messy so I'm going to use a wiggly line to capture her unbrushed hair. Get your pencil and let's begin by practising drawing Arani's face. I'm going to draw her face shape first. It's like a soft edge diamond. I'm adding her little ears which peep out from her hair. I'm going to draw a light line down the centre of her face, then across from the bottom of one ear to the bottom of her other ear. Do the same but from the top of her ears. Draw one more line across her face, the same distance above the last line. These lines will help us position Arani's facial features and it will help us to make her face look the same each time. Where the lines cross, I'll draw Arani's nostrils. As you can see, it's two simple dashes. I'm drawing Arani looking happy, so I'm going to draw her mouth wide and open as if she's smiling. Her eyes are simple dots. These are drawn a fingertip width apart on the top line. Eyebrows are really good at showing expression. I'm going to draw them raised. Now carefully rub out all your position lines and draw back any facial features that might have been rubbed away. Arani has nice rosy cheeks. I use less pressure on my pencil and draw a light shadow for this. I'm adding a light shadow above her eyes for more definition. Now onto her hair. Make loose wiggly lines on one side, then on the other side making sure that you can see her ears. Then I add wiggly hairlines to the top and around the bottom of her head. Finally, her jumper is a good standout feature. I want to show how chunky it is. By using these spaced out curved lines, it should create volume and the shape of the jumper's neck. Draw your own character or Arani with a few different expressions. Here I've drawn her cross. I've made her mouth downturned and her eyebrows are short and sharp too. I've even practiced drawing Arani's profile. Remember to start with your face shape and add the position lines to get your character's face right each time. You can create your own comic story. Comic strips on paper are drawn in panels. Each panel is part of a sequence that tells a story. The space around the panels is called the gutter. You can make all your panels the same size or you can change the shape or the size to add interest or highlight a part of your story. Your first panel is your establishing shot. This will tell us a bit about your character too. If my comic character talks, you write this in a speech bubble. The text is always written in capital letters. In my second panel, I wanted to show Arani angry. Her facial expression tells me she's angry and I've used these lines and curves that overlap the panels. I wanted it to look as though steam was coming off her. Adding drama through movement lines makes your comic illustration stand out. You can express an emotion or add drama by changing the look of your font. I wanted the reader to see how angry Arani is by writing grrr in a jagged font. Those are a few simple tips to help you get started with your own comic story. So now you know the basics, you can get started with your very own comic story. Good luck. Thank you everyone. Goodbye.